soul is the is the catch in the throat when you look up at the Milky Way. It's the yeah. it's the swelling in the chest that you get when you listen to a Schubert quartet or read a Shakespeare sonnet. I'm fed up with religion hijacking the soul in this sense. Yeah. They sometimes say to me, "You're an atheist. How can you appreciate Beethoven? As though it has anything to do with it." <laughs> really? That's what people. I've say. had that. Yes. That's ridiculous. Well, I know people say to me all the time, "Why can't we reconcile science and faith?" And uh, you know, we went through this with George Bush when he said we should teach evolution as well as creationism side yes. by side. But teach you, the controversy. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> right. That's what they call it. You, you really can't have have it both ways, can you? Faith is the very opposite of science. Faith is belief in something without evidence. Right. Science in, insists all the time on evidence. It's based upon evidence, logical reasoning from evidence. Faith and science are completely incompatible. You